Oh, hang on, let me get rid of that. Hello. Hello. <laughs> right, are we starting? I think we should start. Should we do yeah, a little, let's, yeah. let's crack on. I think we crack on. Yep. Well, hello, oops. <laughs> get yourself straight, woman. I am, God, I'm falling apart. Alrighty. Well, hello, Jane. Well, hello, Lisa. Cheers. Cheers. Coffee time. Coffee time. And welcome, <laughs> listeners, to episode number two of Food and Friends. Came around quickly, didn't it? <laughs> it really did. What? I shall put my clicky pen to one side so I don't annoy everybody and everybody switches off. Oh, that would be terrible. That would annoy me. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, anyway? Good, I'm good. We are getting ready over here for Memorial Day weekend, which is coming up in a couple of weeks. Yes, and you've told me about this before. And when you said about that at that time, I said, what, what, what's that? So can you, can you enlighten me again? And anybody Absolutely. who's listening. Absolutely. Memorial Day is a celebration of all of the U.S. military who have died in service. And so it's a day that we set aside to remember them. Um, Consequently, it's also a day that traditionally is kind of like the kickoff to the summer season and barbecues. But I feel like sometimes we can kind of forget the true meaning of Memorial Day. Um, And it's all it's a whole weekend. Um, But Mm -hmm. the actual day is the celebration of all the lives that were lost um, in service of our country. So from all different branches of the military. So and is it always is it always the same date? Or is it a weekend? Like Mother's Day can vary. It's the last, it's always the last Monday of May. And traditionally, you know, it's it's a federal holiday. So banks are closed, schools are closed. um, And yeah, that post offices. So it's everything that closes down. And you'll see a lot of times um, the... Uh, cemeteries that are on different bases and that are like the government, the the, uh, service cemeteries, they put flags for all the service men and women that have passed. So it's really, it's a really lovely way to remember, honestly, what price of our freedom here is in the U.S. Okay. Is it, is it solemn or is it happy? I think it's a little bit of both. Um, I mean, I think the weekend itself, you see, obviously, there's like lots of barbecues and lots of summer festivities going on. And mm-hmm. a lot of schools are still in session, but some schools are out. So you definitely see kind of like the kickoff of it's a big barbecue party. You see lots of memorial weekend parties, people get together. So I think there's yeah. a celebration in that respect. And then I think Monday, like you'll, you'll see, we have in DC, the tomb of the unknown soldier, which represents um, yeah. the servicemen and women that pass that we don't know their names. Know. And so you'll see all, you know, you, our president always goes to the tomb of the unknown soldier and lays a wreath. Um, and so there's very solemn remembrance and celebration, but also uh, respect of what they gave. Mm-hmm. So we have yeah, what we, we have we, here. We've got an unknown soldier buried in, I think it's Westminster Abbey. Oh, do you? I should know the answer to that. I haven't done my homework. The answer to that. Bad so mark we'll, for Jane oh, Raven. We'll plug that in later. It's called. Yeah. Eddie. The so reason I some... asked about whether it's happy or sad, I was just, well, oh, this is a perfect example of us thinking the same things at the same time. Yes. So I, I was thinking that our equivalent to that would be Armistice Day or our Remembrance Day parade. But that for us is in November. It's oh, it's the okay. 11th of November at 11 a.m. when World War I um, was finished. I'm not sure oh, finished okay. is the appropriate word, but yeah, so, but it's a very solemn event. The um, Cenotaph um in, in central London, there's a massive parade. Of course, it gets smaller and smaller each year because there's hardly anybody left who remembers oh, World War One, World War Two. Right, but, right. Um, it's a very solemn affair. I mean, uh, uh, it's always televised. Mm-hmm. It's not a public holiday though, but it's a big deal. All of all of your towns, local towns, will have or villages even will have um, parades, and they'll lay poppy wreaths on on the cenotaphs or the the memorial uh, plaques that they have in their their towns. But oh god, it's really quite. It was depressing. It is. Um, 
you know, it's not a happy occasion. If I watch it on television, I blub for about two hours. Oh, well, that's interesting that you say that because your Armistice Day is our Veterans Day. So we have, oh, so we have Memorial okay. Day and then we have Veterans Day. Oh, you Americans are so greedy. We really are. <laughs> so we, like, yeah. I totally hit the mic. And ex- yeah. So we have getting Veterans excited. Day. excited. I'm getting excited talking about. I mean, you know. I it's like fun. the idea of that. I like the idea like of something a- happy and, and sharing. and But actually, you know, just thinking on my feet here, I think, and I could be shot down for this, this could be completely wrong, but I think you do occasions with food. I'm going to try and put this over in the best way possible. Celebrations with food better than we do. You've got your um, Thanksgiving, your... You know, you talk to me right. about, you know, when it's your brother's birthday, oh, we do a kid this cake, we always do that. And and it's true. And I think that's brilliant. And I'm not sure, and I'm happy to be corrected. So just let me know if we're, if we're losing some of that in the UK. Well, and for Veterans Day, it's a federal holiday and it's celebrated and there's, you know, no school and everything shuts down. There's a celebration, Mm. but Veterans Day celebrates our veterans. So it's our servicemen and women that are still with us. So it's a celebration of all of our veterans, but there's no specific like food around it. I don't think. And that could be be because it's November 11th, like your armistice day. It could be because it's close to Thanksgiving. So it's still celebrated, but Memorial weekend, is definitely more with the food and you see all the Memorial Day picnics and, you know, mm. all of the food bloggers start posting their barbecue recipes and their cocktail recipes and how to throw a fun party with your friends. Oh, how and, lovely. Yeah, so so. I, I'm, I'm, I'm starting a movement, a you UK should. movement for you should. L- l- let's do more events that involve food. Because even, even now, really, while I'm having a rant, Go for it. I puffed out my chest then. Um, even Mother's Day, because you've just had Mother's Day, haven't you? We've just had Mother's Day. Our Mother's Day is in March. It's cold, it's wet generally. And this year, even the clocks went four back. Is it back or forward? I can't remember. It's the one where we, you lose an hour. We we fall back and spring forward here. Yeah. So did you spring forward, maybe? Probably, yes, because we lost an hour. So... I was obviously still haven't recovered from losing that hour. <laughs> but I'm, I'm tired. March, March. Oh, yeah, I have had a long day in the kitchen. March, and we lose an hour's sleep. What's oh that gosh. all about? That's terrible. Oh, I know. That's it's terrible. Time. Yeah, I'm going to move to Do you America. have any special food around Mother's Day? Because we're big about no. Mother's Day brunch. It's like the big thing here is brunch. So you oh, see nice. lots of all the restaurants. I mean, I do breakfast in bed. That's like the tradition in our household is that my kids, well, I not only, I had one kiddo with me this, this year because they're getting older, which is sad because when yeah. they were young, all I wanted was peace and quiet for Mother's Day. <laughs> 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 I, I liked my peace and quiet. They could bring me breakfast in bed and then just leave me alone. <laughs> okay. I'm putting it out there. George, are you listening to this? Breakfast and now that they're older, bed. exactly. Breakfast in bed. And now that they're older, I don't want peace and quiet. I would like to be with them. So yeah, be careful what yeah. you wish for, moms, because before you know it, you will have peace and quiet, and you will long for that noise yes. again. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. D- yeah. Don't don't grumble too much. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So we, we tend more- to go out. We. Uh, I think yeah. there is more of a movement, and I think that's general about all of these events. I, I'm sorry, we've gone off on a bit of a tangent. That's probably my fault again. But I think generally people go out to celebrate now. Versus There's cooking at home. Versus cooking at home. Hmm. I would well, say I Mother's Day, predominantly, they go out. It's a big going out holiday here for sure. Although, honestly, I don't know. I mean, we're going all over the place. A little bit of food, a little bit of holidays, a little bit of yeah. economy situation. Keep up. But with the, with the economy and with the rising cost of everything, it'll be interesting to see, because obviously restaurants will raise their prices, but at the same time, they'll have people, to, they'll people have people to. are using, mm. people at home uh, are spending more money for groceries. So it'll be interesting to see what happens if there's a shift. Cause I know after COVID, when things started opening up, there was a rush to get back out to restaurants because people missed it. They were tired mm. of cooking at home, which I get. I, I, mean, I think we all went a bit stir crazy. We did, well, yes. Didn't we? 
we went a bit so stir crazy. Once the gates opened, yeah. exactly. We went you a little stir crazy, and we want everyone wanted to get out. So the restaurants were packed again, which was amazing because the restaurant industry was one of many industries that suffered greatly during COVID. So it's great to see that. But now I wonder if we'll see a swing back because of the rising cost of everything. Mm. Well, I'm definitely seeing a swing at markets, the markets oh. I'm doing. Definitely yeah. far less, far less tourists out there, far less people spending money. Um, yeah, it's going to be a tough old year, I think. I can see us heading, well, getting sort of e- economy now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I can see, I can see us going heading towards another recession, but we're not going to talk about that because that's depressing. no. Oh, exactly. No, we're here. We want to. We want you guys to listen and have fun and enjoy. So, yeah. Should we talk about food during Memorial Weekend? Yeah, and go for it. What What are you going to cook? Have you got family with you? Are they coming home? Um, Memorial Weekend, we will be here. You know, I might oh, see my brother. My brother lives close by with with my sister in law and their kids. I will not have any kids home yet because my daughter's still in college. She's in college till second week of June. And my son went back to, um, he lives in a different state where he's applying for jobs because he has graduated college. So the hubs and me, I know just be the hubs and me. So we may have friends, honestly, like I will probably end up saying out a text to friends and see about mm-hmm. eating together. And then it'll probably be a big potluck barbecue where usually the host makes the main dish. So if we right. host, my husband makes the most amazing smoked pork. I need to put the recipe on the website. So if you're listening, I do have a pulled pork recipe on the website, which we'll link below. Um, is that smoked will- pork? Or is it's that the, something different? That is uh, pulled pork. So it's a big pork butt that you rub with all these fantastic spices a couple of days before you cook it. Then you can slow cook it in your oven. You can barbecue it. You can smoke it. My husband has a smoker. So good. And it melts in your mouth. And if you want to make carnitas, what you can do is when the pork is done. Carnitas? Carni- yeah. Hang with me. Okay. It's a pork. It's a pork dish that's um, Hispanic. So good. Um, carnitas tacos. Oh my gosh. So what you do is you take pulled pork, you shred it, you lay it and spread it across a rimmed baking sheet, and then you put it under the broiler. So you get all the little crispy bits of pork. Oh, yum. So, and you can toss it with salsa or spices or, but, but, or you can do that and also toss it with like barbecue sauce which is amazing. And oh. you can serve it. So we could do that because it's great. You can serve it. Carnitas so is great. I know, I'm sorry. I make it as hungry at 9.30 I know. in the morning. So cool. well, it's, it's 5.36 here. So, so it's like, it's, it's, it's tea time. time. It's Thanks, tea time. I love you too. Um, well, it's a great dish to make because it feeds a ton of people. So you don't, and you can start it a couple of days ahead of time. Mm-hmm. I am a huge believer and advocate for buying really high quality meat, whatever you can afford, whether it's a local butcher, whether it's a local farm. I love Butcher Box. Um, It is a subscription. So you can get monthly different cuts of meat. You can pick the kind of cuts of meat you have. And it's that local to Seattle. It's, it's a national, it ships nationally Mm -hmm. and it's all hormone-free, organically raised, farm-raised, free-range, as well-loved as you can mm-hmm. possibly get when it comes to meat. I think that makes a huge difference. Um, not to mention, I absolutely advocate for supporting your local farmers, and this is a way to support yeah. your local farmers. So okay. that, that's my little spiel. That's my little spiel about meat. But no. pork is great. So I will either do a pulled pork because it feeds a lot. You can make it a couple days ahead of time, get it all set up. Meat actually... I find cooks better, tastes better if you do prep it and let it sit in your fridge a couple of days ahead before you cook it. Um, especially if like, you can salt steaks ahead of time because the salt will kind of get into the meat and tenderize it. So good. I'm with cooking. <laughs> smacking so good. my lips in. Oh. So, good. so we'll do that. Or I love flank steak when you're feeding a crowd because flank steak is, I'm trying to think of what, do you have flank steak? Is that a cut that you have in the UK? It's probably called something else. I think it's I, probably called something. We don't have flake steak. Flake steak, F L A K E. Flank, F L A N K. Oh, flank. Flank steak. Yeah. Yes, flank we steak. have flank. Oh my God. You say flank. I say flank. You say tomato. And I and say, I say tomato. tomato. Flank steak. So I love cooking that because 
of the shape of it. So it's thicker in the middle, thinner on the sides, on the ends. And yeah. so you basically get different temperatures when you cook it, which is great if you don't know what your guests like to eat. So like the ends are more well done. Yeah. Um, so the middle is more rare to medium rare. And so it's great because you don't have to worry about oh, Johnny likes his steak medium, but Susie likes her steak medium rare. And then you've got someone else that wants it well done. A couple of flank steaks and you have temperature that's going to make everybody at your party happy. Quite meat orientated then. Well, it's easy. You know, I mean, it's easy. Yeah, you, can it also do, you can also do, you can also get a, a full filet of fish. So like a whole salmon, which is wonderful to put on the grill. Mm -hmm. And what's great about salmon too, is that you can serve at room temperature. Yeah. I was looking at a whole salmon yesterday because mm -hmm. big secret, I was buying um, some mackerel <gasps> and, and some whole raw prawns to, Ooh. to be doing some photographs for our forthcoming cookery book. Love that. So yeah, I, I was, I was that. looking at a salmon the other day, not yesterday, and I was thinking, oh, that looks, that looks lovely. You can definitely do a whole salmon. Um, Costco is great. Um, I, I'm in Seattle, so we definitely are very, very lucky. You're you so have lucky. Access to, mm. But if you live someplace you don't have access to fresh fish, shrimp is a great way to go because shrimp's always frozen. It's always, always, always okay. frozen. So you can buy enormous bags of shrimp from Costco, which is definitely the econ economic, I'm just going to say economical, economical. I wonder way. why it's always frozen. It's just the way it's harvested. It's, it's, it's frozen it's on, the, on the boats. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's just, it's always, it's always frozen. So, which is great and it's less expensive. And mm -hmm. you can do like a big like shrimp or a salad. You can grill shrimp. You can skewer it and make like a wonderful chimichurri or a beautiful oh. marinade for it. And then Yum. just grill it on skewers. And that's easy too. Yeah. 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 Oh. And there's always a cobbler. And there's always a cobbler. I've got to make a cobbler because my mom made cobbler all the time in summer. And that just is like summer. So like blackberry cobbler or like a combination of like blackberry and raspberries or peach cobbler. Oh God, I'm big, coming. <laughs> I'm booking my flight now. <laughs> with, oh, but you have to have with cobbler, you have to have huge big scoops of ice cream that just kind of vanilla ice cream that just kind of melts into all like the nooks and crannies hmm. of the biscuits and the fruit. It's so good. I love ice cream. I, I um we used to have chickens, so I always had a surplus veg. So I used to, I got really into making my own ice cream. I love and that. homemade ice cream is just the best. But, yeah, the fox came. <laughs> that, oh, no. that put play to the homemade ice cream. Never mind. Hey ho! It's, you know it's well kingdom when you have animals. It's it is. It my is. aunt and uncle have a ranch, and I they always told me do not get too attached to any of the animals. Yeah, I named mine. It was a big mistake. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't go down there. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. Was, sorry, went off again. That's okay. Well, I think it's great that, that we kind of talked a little bit about Memorial Day and like your equivalent, which I think it's great that your yeah. equivalent of Armistice Day is our Veterans Day. So there's definitely yeah. a crossover. Well, that is obviously based on when the World War, World War One ended. Yes, uh, that that for both countries. But right. do you put right. do you put poppy wreaths on? Do you have that poppy wreaths? Yeah. We, see, that's a big thing over here. In fact, we we all wear poppies. We raise money oh, for the British. Oh, the flower. <laughs> I didn't know what you were talking about. Not puppies. I don't stick a black Labrador on my chest and walk around it. Not puppies. Poppies. Right? Poppies. Thinking, I was just thinking it was a cocktail that you were drinking because, you know, me, I go straight. <laughs> yeah, you've got a one track mind. I do. I do. Oh, well, I love that you How wear. How can we turn it to alcohol? I know. <laughs> I love how you wear poppies, though. I think that's really. We do not do that here. It's a big fundraiser because it, oh, it it's for the Royal British Legion, which is for retired soldiers, oh, and um, yeah, and they do a lot of work for for military. So that yeah, and yes. and we have our little parade, the parades everywhere. Um. I mean, I, I have carried a flag or two in a Armistice Day parade. Yes, I was. A, nice. a, do you have scouts and brownies and gar oh, girl guides oh, and things like that? Oh, with, 
Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. Yes, we do. Yeah. Well, brownies is the tots. Yes. And yes. They have the smallest flag known to mankind. I carried that flag oh, I in love the parade. That. And then Girl Guides and and yeah. And all all of all of your groups carry wreaths and they, they all put on the parade. And then we have our two minutes silence. I, we definitely do that for Memorial Day. Is that there's definitely wreaths? There's a wreath put on at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. And if you mm-hmm. go to the cemeteries, that we have specific cemeteries for our military, and you'll see flags on every, you know, flags at every tombstone. Sometimes you'll see wreaths. We still we do that also for Veterans Day, so it's done for both okay. days. Memorial Day, okay. um, Veterans Day, you'll see too. But Veterans Day is more of a kind of a, cel- a celebration of our veterans who are still with us. But it's really mm. sweet and touching, and I always do get a little teary eyed because they'll mm. always have veterans from the different wars too. Yeah. And you know, there you know, there's not too many left from World War Two. No, there's not. My father so, served in World War Two. He was in he? Africa. Yeah, he was in Egypt. And oh my, but my grandfather never served. Spoke of it. My grandmother, grandfather served, but he was in DC, so he never served overseas. But he was in the army and he mm. my he moved my grandmother and my dad and my uncle back to dc uh, during the war and my dad went to i think my dad was i forget how, I think he went to elementary school this uh-huh. fourth and fifth i think in dc they were there for a couple of years okay yeah cool. they were there for a couple of years um and then my my cousin served so uh-huh. Yeah. yeah getting back to not not in world war ii my cousin <laughs> my cousin served late, later on but yeah not in world war ii but yeah anyway so this is pork get so back to the pork quickly back to the pork, are you yes. going to put a link underneath yes. this links here? links of what we've okay. talked about are all below so and in fact i'm going to do like a little we'll do let's do like a little write-up so i'll have a link for memorial day we'll have a link for armistice day if people want to get to know Okay. Our, our... If there is such a thing, we'll do it. Exactly. Well, I think we could just link to, or I, we could write up a little something if you want to yeah. learn more about it. Yeah. Why and not? then we'll put links to the pork and a flank steak recipe. And, oh, I bet which, which of your fantastic jams or chutneys would make a really wonderful marinade for meat? The chili jam? Would you use that for shrimp? Chili jam would certainly tenderize it. Oh, I'm going to have to think about that one. I mean, certainly to get, I do um, a Worcester Warrior chutney, which is um, onion based. It's a hot onion chutney with mm. lots of mustard in it. So that that would go a treat with the with the beef. Um, that sounds good. But oh, I'll have to think about that. Mm. Think about that. Leave, and- you're gonna have to leave that one with me. I've had a long day. We'll put the links below. We'll put the links <laughs> below. And we'll wish if you're listening to this in the US, we'll wish you a very happy Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. Happy just Memorial up. Memorial Day weekend. Yes. Is that not weird having a Memorial Day weekend? Is that just you stretching it out? No, it's like it's the US. We have Memorial Day on Monday. <laughs> And it's called Memorial Day weekend. No, it's not just me. It is tradition in the States. Okay. I'll, t- I'll trust you. Trust me. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, okay. have a lovely day. Thank you, everyone, for listening. We would Thank love if you. you share if you've enjoyed, if you've enjoyed this podcast. We would love if you would share it with your friends, friends, family, share on social media, share a link in a text saying, listen to this, my new favorite podcast. That would mean yeah. the world to us. Can I just say I agree with everything you just said? Oh, fantastic. I hope so. Always. <laughs> Brilliant. Right. Until next time. Until next time. Cheers. Enjoy cheers. your tea, coffee, or cocktails. Exactly. And we'll talk to you next time. Bye, everybody. Yeah. Bye.